Hey guys, it's Kyle Bennett, HardOCP.com. And uh, what we're gonna show you here today is uh, what we previewed to you last week on the website and the news and the forums. These two little uh, D-litter tools that have been uh, printed out by Spacey9 on our forums for us. And what these do is they, uh, they use a vise or a hammer and you can uh, use this to delete your processor. He sent us two of them. The two we have here, we'll bring in a little closer here. So the two we have here today is, this one happens to be a uh, 40%, which means it's 40% backfill, which means that these pieces are not solid. That's gonna be the one we actually start with. And he also sent us one that's 100% uh, backfill. So we're gonna look at that one also if uh, we happen to break this one into smithereens. So. Let me show you how this works. It's really pretty simple. Here's what we're trying to get, right? That is our uh, 2600 we've been using. Uh, 2600K that's uh, been delitted. Really not much to see once they get delitted, but there it is. So what happens here is, is that our processor, we've got a, a 6700K. The 6700K and the KB Lake uh, will both work in here, so we can use Sky Lake and KB Lake. So you've noticed you've got these little shoulders here on the sides of your uh, CPU and what we're going to do is set them down there in the die and you will notice, let me get something a little bit bigger here and you will notice that uh, we have the shoulders matching up right there in the corners so right there and right there alright so what we're going to do is we set this down in here place our CPU in you should feel it seat. I'm gonna do it backwards. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm doing it the wrong way. There you go. So the shoulder seats in there. All right. So I'm gonna bring you in tight here because you got it takes you a little bit to. Uh... Okay. Ooh. All right. So you will notice how this sits in there flush. Hardly moves at all, right? So back towards the back here, you see this gap, right? We've got a gap right here on this side. This is where we're actually gonna push the uh, substrate forward so that the, uh, the uh, integrated heat spreader actually releases and comes off. So what this happens is, is we use this piece here and all it does and everything here black, so it's kind of hard to show you. So that's real simple. It's got a cutaway here at the top to uh, not interfere with our uh, surface mount transistors there. So what all we do is we stiff this in here. And see it slides. And see how we have room there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a vise. We're going to squeeze this together. This will slide in, push our heat spreader off, and allow our uh, substrate to slide back a little ways. So that's really all there is to it. So all we need now is a vise, okay? So instead of going out and getting the, uh, the big monster vise in the garage, I figured out we'd uh, try to do this how you might do it at home. So I headed down to uh, Home Depot, and I grabbed this $20 3-inch vise that'll actually clamp to your desk. So uh, I'll get that all set up and then we'll start to, uh, we'll start to see if we can tear something up here. Okay, so we got our simple little vise set up on our, uh, on our workbench here. It's about a uh, three quarter inch thick workbench. It's actually pretty stable. Uh, so all we did was open the vise up, took our unit, held it in there flush, kept it in the middle, and started tightening it up a bit, okay? So we just got a little bit of pressure on it right now. So what I wanted to do was I was gonna try to bring you in here so you can actually see the movement of, let's take it just a little bit in case the whole thing shatters, because we don't wanna miss that. That'd be cool if it blows up. All right, so here we go. This is another, you're along for the ride, so I have no idea what's gonna happen here. There's one half turn. It's one full turn. <laughs> okay. That's another half turn. And it is tight. That 
is. <sighs> hey, there we go. I think that was a success. So let's see here. Let's widen it a little bit. Let's back this off. Just brought the box out, so I didn't want to reposition the camera so we could uh, look at this together. So you heard the pop, obviously. So there's our processor. All right. Just like that. And she's out. And she looks. Fit as a fiddle. Awesome. So uh, we'll follow back, uh, follow this back up. You can see, we bring in tight. You can see our die. You can see our die still intact. Everything looks good. And uh, our tool did not shatter. Our tool's still good. Tool's good there, tool's good there. Trying to look down in here. Looks good there. So the 40% fill tool held up, held up just perfectly. That's awesome.